Hello, and thank you for clicking on this video. In this video, we are going to be taking a look at the RuneScape botting client, OSBot. OSBot is one of the four major botting clients, and just like our last video, where we took a look at installing and running DreamBot, one of the other major botting clients, in this video, we are going to run through the process of using OSBot step by step, starting with the installation of OSBot and ending with running the bot in the game. So without further ado, let's install OSBot. In order to install OSBot, all you need to do is go to osbot.org. Once on the website, click the download now link. This will start the download. Save the file. Once you've saved the file, you want to open up where the file was saved. This will normally be in your downloads folder. A quick note about this botting client, and basically every botting client for Old School Rootscape, is that you will need to install Java. We've already covered how to do this in greater detail in our previous video about installing and using DreamBot, which you can find in the top right corner of this video or in the description box. Although it's pretty easy, all you really need to do is go to the Java site and download the latest developer kit for Java. Now, if you already have Java installed or just finished installing it, you want to open up the botting client. To do this, just double click the .jar file. So you should see this when you open up the botting client. So now, we will need to create an OSBot account. This is the easiest part of the process. It's pretty much the same as creating an account on any other website. Just want to go to their website here, click register. Uh, you'll see this the sponsorship product. You can do that if you want to support them or you can just click no continue without purchasing So now that we have our account registered and verified we can now uh, move on to downloading some scripts Scripts are an integral part of old school botting. They're like the brains of the bot. Without the scripts, the bot would not know what to do when you ran them. In our previous video, we went into further detail about what scripts and other parts important to botting are and why they are important. You can check out that video in the description, like I said before, if you would like a more in-depth explanation. To go over scripts briefly here, scripts for old school bots are typically written in Java, as almost all the bots run through Java. You can download other people's scripts for free or uh, buy them and if you know how to code yourself in Java you can even make your own scripts anyway moving back onto the main OS bot website here you can see you can get free scripts or premium scripts or if you're already on the forums you can click on the scripts tab here we're just going to go through the form and click on the scripts tab but as you can see there's many categories to choose from uh, say we want to get a Fire making script. We can go to the crafting section and you can see there's two scripts here on the OS bot site. Uh, we can let's try the fire maker. We can add click add on the script. It's a free script, so we'll just add it to our collection. So once we have the script, we're gonna move back on over to the actual OS bot application. Okay, now that we have our OS bot account made and we have our scripts downloaded. All we got to do is launch the OSBot client and sign in. Uh, if you're having trouble getting the bot client to launch, you maybe because you have Java 12 installed, you do require Java 8 for this program. There's an official guide that I will link in the description on how to get Java 8 working while you also have Java 12 installed. But if that doesn't work, just uninstall Java 12 and it should start working. Anyways, now that we have this, you want to click on Add Bot. A new window will pop up. We want to click on new account and then you want to sign in to your RuneScape account, which I'm going to do now. Okay, so once you have your account credentials, you just want to click save and your account will be placed up here. Click on it and click continue. And then it will start loading the RuneScape launcher. Okay, so once it loads, we don't have to worry about signing in here or anything. However, if you are free to play, just make sure you select a free to play world then you want to click on this little play button up here and it will take you to the script selector these are the scripts that we uh, downloaded off the site earlier now just select the script that you want and hit start and then it will begin it will auto log you in and do everything Yeah, there we go. 
So yeah, once you do that, that's really all there is to it. Just do that, and the script should start running on its own. It will take you to wherever you need to go automatically, and then complete whatever actions need to be completed. Now OSBot also has a feature called Break, which allows you to run the bot for a set amount of time and then pause it for a different set amount of time. This can be useful to make Jagex less suspicious of your account. In order to use this system, just navigate to the settings up here, go to the options, so you want to click on the options here, and you want to just click Breaks Enabled. Okay, And then here you just type in uh, a number, so we'll say 20. This is in minutes. So you just want to click you will bot for 20 minutes before logging out. And then you can break for 10 minutes. And uh, another thing recommended if you're going to use this system is to randomize the bot slash break time. Anyway, that's all there is to botting you using OS bot. It's pretty simple. There are different things that you can do to make botting safer and to make sure that your botting accounts don't get banned, such as using proxies and alt accounts, but uh, those are going to be saved to go into even further detailed next video. These are just the basics of getting started on OSBot. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe.